Or chicken nuggets. Let him, whoa, catch it. Here. All right, can you open the hatch? Yes. Open the hatch. Oh, thank you. You got it? Yeah. There you go. Aww. Be careful with it. Okay, hold on. You can hold it in your hand. Please, it'll poop on me. Well, if it poops on you, you can change your shirt or change your pants. Which one do you want? Um, I want the whites. You want uh, one of these orange ones? Yeah. Oranges, reds? Yep. There you I go. I want the black ones. Because I <laughs> hey there. Yeah, the ladies at the post office were having a hoot. You got them? Yeah, yeah. This one's pretty nice. Charlie, you can handle it. Yeah. You just grab the one you want. You want to hold one. And then just sit down. There you go. This is the best. I think this is the best part of it. Everybody loves baby chicks. Don't know what it is. It's okay, my little primitive rock. You're good, chick. Well, you like me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Dad, look, this one loves me. <laughs> yeah. The package said love chicks, huh? Yeah. It said love baby me. chicks. Hey, you. I'm eyeballing you. Yeah. <laughs> you see that one sitting on the feed right there? He's just like, I can see you. Dun 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 Should we go in? Let's do this. Oh my goodness! Little bunnies, are you ready to eat? How's my killer squad doing? Killer squad. <laughs> Where's Blueberry? Alright. There's Mr. Blueberry. <laughs> Did you get Mr. Blueberry? <clears throat> yeah, see. Alright, that's that's Mr. Blueberry. <laughs> the lady we got uh, here to <laughs> come over here. Look at all these guys. Is there any left behind? I'll have to show people a few other things. Look at them just go, man. Yeah. You can't forget about Mr. Bunny Bun, though. Oh, I'll get over there. Mr. Bunny Bun. Oh, there's, there's a whole other set of, of males over there. There's one male in here. Well, two males. We've got... Uh, what'd, you, what'd you say? Oh, yeah. Uh, you've got Bubba. Yep. A.K.A. Cookie. <laughs> yep. <laughs> he's in a... He's in solitary confinement. Because... He's a bit ruthless. He's a... He's shanked a few fools with carrots. So we keep him over here. What'd you say this breed was again? That's a Holland. And Holland Lop, you said, are... Holland Yeah, They're Holland Lops. Temperamental. Temperamental. By temperamental, we mean he's a jerk. <laughs> that about sums him up. Hey, you just eat that food. Yeah, he was the $15 on sale special. Yeah. But, you know... He, uh, he's a fluffy, cuddly little thing. He is. But he just has an attitude problem. And don't go in his space. Don't go in his space. We've had to bump him on the nose a few times because he gets a little bit too aggressive. That was my baby. Look at that. It's just crazy seeing them all there. Just, they're just having their breakfast. Mm -hmm. It's breakfast time. <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> <laughs> and Mr. Blueberry is called Mr. Blueberry because the original owner called him Blueberry. I like to call him Hansel. 
she calls him Handsome Jack. But I thought it was hilarious when we rolled up to meet this gal, and she's like, uh, she's one of those crazy bunny ladies. It's like the crazy cat lady. Yeah. You know, but she's the crazy bunny lady, and she comes out and says, uh, she pulls this brown one out of, the, out of the back, and she said, Mr. Blueberry, how are we today? Kind of thing. I'm like, oh, my goodness. She swears and it, he knows his name. Yeah, he knows his name, he too. Knows his and name is Mr. He's got a personality. He has a bank account, and... You know, all kinds of stuff. All the all the girls go crazy when they hear Blueberry. I don't know what it is, but it just made me laugh. And ever since, she's been trying to change his name. But ever since I heard his name was Blueberry, I still call him Blueberry. Hey, come here, Blueberry. <laughs> or I'll say, how's Blueberry doing? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> uh, first we got the Alice Coopers with the dark oh, yeah. on their eyes. This is the, Alice Cooper. This is the Coopers. That's get the Alice Coopers. That's Alice Cooper Jr. Yeah, we got like Alice Cooper one, two, and three. All right, let's go over and see the males real quick. Oh, hold up! I want to show them the palette. Okay, so you guys have seen me make these, the the little Alice in Wonderland coops, and over here, see that one's got a little. I didn't get to show you guys this. I feel I feel sad. I didn't get to show you guys. Uh, but like this one here, it's got a little door. It opens up on the front of it, so it's just like a little house. But yeah, I just I, I clicked that one together real quick out of out of plywood and two by fours. But that costs money, doesn't it? It gets expensive, right? And I, I told the wife, I said, you know, I've got like a gang of freaking pallets. We use pallets for compost bins. We use pallets for all kinds of stuff. So I made one out of a pallet. Isn't that neat? It's just got little handles on it. It's it's a hundred percent pallet. Look at that. I even used the the bottom portion as the bottom portions. But it's a pallet. Hundred percent pallet. Makes a nice little coop. You closing this up, babe? Heat lamps to keep them warm during the freeze. The male coop. They like to hide back there in the back. But yeah, though, this is, that's all there is to this one, though. They're, uh, they're a bit too froggy, and they like to hug the other bunnies a lot. So, you guys know the <laughs> reason why we have to keep them separated, or we'll end up with a, a mountain of bunny rabbits. Uh, so <coughs> yeah, you just gotta keep them spaced out. This one's got a heat lamp in it as well. This one's just a simple little hutch. Let's show the outside of it real quick. I'm gonna fill that food up. Mm -hmm. But this one's just a simple, they call it the spaceship. But I made this one, it's just uh, uh, over the top. Uh, it's all wire. I just did wire and then I did uh, uh, six ply contractor plastic. And it's kind of like a greenhouse, but not, you know what I mean? But the cage itself, and then the bottom, the bottom is caged. I don't think I really showed this. Let me see. Get down in here. It's kind of hard to get to the bottom. Anyways, there's wire under there. It's hard to get to it, but wire on the insides as well, just double. And then insulation. That's uh, water heater insulation. And you just lace that around the bottom. It keeps them warm. Uh, but this is a, a a tractor, so you can move it. If you need to move it, you can just roll it. I'm not gonna lock her in. She's gonna we'll come out in a minute. But if you need to move it, you just lift up. You lift up one corner, and it just rolls with you. So you can move it to another spot. That's what I like about this one. But this one's for the males, so you can kind of move them around. They can dig. Be all the crazy they want and move them to a new spot if you need to chickens are still doing good solar system still working all of their stuff still working i got their neat little play area go big go big get the big water container get the big food container call it a day because they go th they go through it 
we've learned uh, this past year to just double up on the food and stuff. That way you don't have to keep going out there and out there and out there, you know. Uh, amusement park. Uh, they like pecking and eating the uh, bugs out of old logs. We'll find fallen debris and just throw it in there. Plus they like chilling on it. Uh, they love perching on that stuff. It's more natural. They like that. Because naturally chickens would just be in trees all over the place. So you do this right here so they just they perch. Plus they like their swing set. There's your swing set right there. Alright, I'll show you around real quick. Now we finished our new section here. We got got our new post, got our fence and everything in. This is so we can do some just this keeps the predators levels down. Over here, this is gonna become the new chicken coop. This area's gotta get peeled back and <laughs> the kids come out here and play. So <laughs> you have to excuse it, the mess. The kids come out here and play and this is gonna be a new area for for chickens and everything. So anywho, beware of the tiny raptors. It's all Jurassic Park. How are the baitless? Get, is one of the babies out? They're still in there. I wanted to show them. I wanted to show them one of the babies real quick. I'm trying to see. There we go. See how big the babies got? That was one of the babies. <laughs> they're they're getting pretty big. <laughs> There's a heat lamp for. Uh, the cold, once again, when it gets really cold, you're going to need stuff like that. This is how it is. You can't expect them to just stay warm on their own. It's crazy as babies. They just pop too. I feel like it was just a week ago. I saw them when they're tiny. You guys are getting much bigger. I remember when they were in this little thing over here. They are gonna be some pretty birds. I'm gonna open that. You're opening that up. I'll get a little bit closer. Yeah, I yeah these. You want to give them, like my wife here. She put, uh, she put natural light in. See, they still need natural light. You can't just rely on, you know, red the red lights. People think that the red light they can see that, but they can't. You know, they're they'll think that they're still in the dark. So you've got to put a natural light in. Um, that's your uh, your Rhode Island Reds and your Plymouth Rock Chickens, and a lot of folks. They, two very very pretty birds, well chickens. Uh, but the I think the Plymouth Rocks are by far the coolest chickens on the planet as far as looks go. If you're going for looks. Uh, but we wanted to have a whole variety of different types of chickens, you know, just to, cause you know, our place is kind of like a petting zoo or turning into that because a lot of folks, uh, uh, from the church and stuff come and visit and, you know, they want to hold chickens. They want to hold a bunny or see a chicken or see a baby chick or, you know, uh, just kind of. Uh, see the whole process, how stuff how stuff comes to be, and and uh, of course <clears throat> there's just I don't know there's just a lot there's a lot to do out here. So uh, folks will uh, visit us from the city and stuff like that, and and just like wow this is crazy. It's so relaxing, you know, seeing all this, and you know it's it's good for kids too. <laughs> but <clears throat> that's them now. It's been a few. What, like two weeks or yeah. something? <laughs> two weeks later, this is how big they get, two weeks. And uh, we showed you the other ones that our own personal incubators, uh, the hens, uh, had had their own chickens hatch. And they're wanting more because they're doing it again. Yep. And I can't get them to stop. Uh, <laughs> I can't get them to stop incubating eggs. Once you get them started, it's kind of addicting for them. They just constantly keep doing it. 
They're getting crazy again. <laughs> they start, it turns into a mosh pit for them, I tell you. They start slam dancing. But uh, if you do something like this in a little space, get them, um, get them something to perch up on. These little one buys work great. Uh, a good one inch board will do the trick uh, for them to rest on. It's, even when they get bigger, the one inch board is the perfect size for them. Uh, <laughs> it's like they try to karate chop you mid, <laughs> mid air. Mid the other, I know. The other day I didn't know where one of them was. And it had landed in the, the chicken feed. And it was sitting in there. Like, I, I heard one distressed. You'll tell when they're distressed. They'll make a... they high This pitch. high pitch. This is their peaceful chirp. When you hear this, that's a peaceful sound. That means they're happy. <clears throat> if you hear one going... Kee -kee 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 -kee, that means they're usually distressed. Kee -kee 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 -kee. It sounds like a... Kee -kee 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 -kee. Hmm. I've heard a cacao. A cacao? But not a cookie. She's such a jerk face. <laughs> Leave me alone. All right. I guess that's it. Babe, you got anything else you want to tell them before we get off here? Uh, nope. No. Just keep checking their little poopers. Yeah, do that it'll too. Clog up. Uh, you may have to wash their and butts you or something. Soak them. You don't want to yeah, pull it off because you can ruin, hurt their little rectum. It's just, it's all part of it though. Yeah. Just, uh, if just check for them, it it has a name. It's called something. I can't remember the exact name of it, but it's early in the morning. I just got up, so I can't remember everything. But uh, if their butt gets clogged up uh, with, they'll just get poop kind of get stuck on there. It'll clog them up <laughs> permanently if you don't do something about it. So you just soak them in some water. Get you a little uh, Tupperware Tupperware container and a Q-tip, and uh, soak their butt clean it off yeah and it's really not that big of a deal then just chunk them back in there and they'll be good to go but that's all you do for that but you got to make sure you keep checking because if you don't you could end up with dead chickens yeah anyways all right that's all i got for you guys god bless take care stay safe